Hello, my name is Bonnie Molina, and I'm a consultant here at CS3 Technology, and this is the third video in a series of three videos about Scissortel Ready's custom forms. And today I'm going to show you some advanced field types. I'm going to start with my template already uploaded and my fields already added and put in place. And if you need help with that, please refer to my first video in the series and my second video in the series that can be located in the links, CS3 videos, HR folder, and scissor tail. Okay, so I'm in my demo company and my custom forms. I've already uploaded my PDF template. I've already added all my fields that we're going to cover and I have already put them in the position, named them, and let's get started. Now the character field is my very first field, and I've named it character. Here's where you choose the type. The, you can choose a default value. You can choose how many uh, characters can be typed in the field. You can limit that for the employee. And it can be a list where it is a drop down where they can choose the answers. Date submitted. This pulls directly from the system. Once they hit submit on the form, it's going to fill in the, whatever date it is that day. It automatically becomes read only and the list items functionality is disabled. For an integer, an integer is a whole number, it cannot have any special characters to make it a, des a, a fraction, and it does not allow for decimal points. If you try to put in a decimal point, it'll just take them out. The time field type is set up to be a time plus a colon and two decimal points or two spaces for minutes. And then it'll put a lowercase a for a.m., a lowercase p for p.m. If you use it in a checklist item, it will not automatically format that for you because you're actually just putting in a list item. So you'll need to do the formatting there. The numeric field, it will allow decimal places but they have to have numbers. So if you type in decimal zero, zero, it's gonna take the decimal and the places out. It also can be a list item and the formatting does not, is not included in when you type in the list items. The link, the link is a link to a website and you need to put the link in the default value and I'm going to show you the preview on the link and the system account uh, and the email here together. So let's go into the preview. So the link, they get an option to click on the link and it'll automatically take them to the website. Okay, and then the email, you put in the email address as the default value. They click on the email, it'll open up whatever email uh, system that they use and the email that's in the default value will automatically go in the to. So if you want them to send an email to somebody in their custom form for uh, a checklist, that's how you would add that. And the system account, they can choose based on their security, uh, anyone in the list of employees. And again, they can only see employees they have security to be able to see. And the last one I wanna go over is the date field. They'll get a little calendar icon. 
they actually have to choose a date instead of the date submitted, which is, which is put in automatically for them. So let's get out of preview. And I want to go over the label. The label is if you just want to add text, extra text, extra information on your template that you didn't put on the template. And um, it gives you this whole space to type in. It also becomes read only and the list function is disabled. Currency. The currency does not include the dollar sign. So if you want to have a dollar sign to indicate that it's currency, make sure that you put that on your uh, PDF form outside. Uh, so it'll show that the currency and it does come up with the default of two decimal places. If there's zeros, it will save that. And when you want to put a signature on a customer form for a checklist, uh, the diff I just want to go over, you can uh, determine who you want to sign, anyone, the employee, manager, specific account. So you would actually go here and choose a specific account, and that's based on your security, not the employee security. And then a specific group. Again, based on your security, not the employee security. But most often, it's just the employee signing an acknowledgement or um, an agreement page that they have read the policies and whatnot. One other field I want to go into in a little bit more detail is the employee list type or field type. And you ha can choose any item that is available on the employee record. And you can make it read only. So it's just simply some pulling from the employee record that is filling out the form. So you have contact status, every single item that is available on the employee record can be pulled here. And they're in alphabetical order. So if you don't want to use the full name for the employee name, you want to put their first name and then their last name or their last name and then their first name, then you can choose those fields individually. So and that is a really good functionality to use. The last one I'm going to go over is the text field. If you want them to have a brief description um, of whatever question you're asking, or if you want them to make a comment. Um, then you will want to use this field. And again, you can choose the maximum number of characters that they can type so they don't write to a novel. And it can also be a list item, but the best, better field to use for a list item is the character field. And I just want to show you the email that the default out value is the email address. That's where you type it in. In the system account, there's nothing to choose because the employee is going to choose that person based on their security. And then the sign, of course, is based on who's going to sign it. And this is what the date looks like. Very simple. When they go into the form, it's going to have a little uh, calendar icon and they can choose the date on the calendar. And these are the advanced field options in Scissortail Ready's custom forms. And if you need more assistance on how to add fields, put them in position, how to set up a simple signature page, or how to use radio buttons, checklists, 
and check boxes, then um, refer to my videos number one and two, and they can be found in the links, CS3 videos and HR folders in Scissortail. And as always, if you need help, please contact us at support at cs3technology.com.